the Fremantle superstar has always intrigued me. He's a non-conformist, a free thinker. I found your hidden treasure. And his best football is as good as we've ever seen. Down by the docks. Saluting Captain Bembo. I want to know how Nat Fife balances that ambition with being an AFL captain. Well, arguably this whole TV series is a bit of an ego trip for me, but having breakfast made by a Brownlow medalist would be, would be kind of new ground. What's, what's on the menu? Can I start you with a cup of tea? Yes. And then we might just go some toast. Beautiful. How was the morning swim? I mean, I slept in. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. This morning was the worst morning in three years, I reckon. So it was a good opportunity to grab some footage of it. It was uh, pretty airy. But usually that's the way to start the day, just... It sort of started a couple of years ago, actually, as a three-week trial, because I wasn't a morning person. I'd roll into work footy at yep. 8 o'clock in the morning, bed hair, grumpy, not acknowledge anyone for an hour or so until I found my rhythm. Uh, and the feedback came that I just needed it. Who gave you the feedback? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people over a long period of time. But mainly, I mean, Brett Kirk was the one that sort of started making me a bit aware of it. Yeah, that you have to neutralise your energy constantly if you want to be a leader around this joint. So the challenge was three weeks of yep. six a.m. beach sessions. So neutralise your energy. So be a, a, not as not as. Oh, yeah. he's walking in. He's grumpy this morning. Because it's a tough place to walk into some mornings if you don't want to. Particularly as an introvert, to have to walk into the robustness of footy club where people are just ready to chirp you or come at you or pat you on the back or ask you to do something. If you're yeah. not ready for that, um, it's, yeah, it can be hard work, as you know. So would you classify yourself as an introvert? Very much so. Very much so. But I can be an augmented extrovert. What's when that I have to be. Well, when you go don't into... Don't use too many big words for me. When you go into an environment where you have to put on a persona of enjoying... Uh, the spotlight or yep. the, uh, the other people around you, but very much like my mum and dad, introverted. Peter Roebuck said something, and it's come up before in one of these chats, is the, the cape of bravado for batsmen. Mm. They've got to wear that cape of bravado to yeah. exert sort of total self-belief. Yeah, definitely. 